A few years ago, shortly after he turned 40, Vidal realized that his blood pressure was rising. It was not morbidly high, but it was getting to the upper limit of normal. So Vidal started investigating why this was happening because, for him, this turn of events was unexpected. He had always been a physically active man, running about 24 kilometers every week, and he did upper body strength training twice a week. Vidal was puzzled as to why his blood pressure was rising. If your blood pressure is rising despite a healthy dose of physical activity as part of your lifestyle, the reason could be your diet. It could be a genetic predisposition to high blood pressure. It could also be chronic stress or heart disease. In Vidal's case, he discovered that he had made a serious error in his diet. Too much salt. So he started looking for ways to keep enjoying his food, but without added salt. To his surprise, he found that it is difficult to find food items in the supermarket that has no added salt. In this episode of Basic Hill, we invite you to come with us on a journey to the supermarket. We will see that it is almost impossible to buy any processed food that has zero salt. We will also look at the daily amount of salt that is safe for you. Then, we will offer Vidal's personal strategy to reduce salt. Here is the smart ladle for a popular brand of cornflakes in the United States. The Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. mandates that food companies should declare sodium content on their label instead of salt content. The trouble is, for most people, calculating the salt content of packaged food is difficult enough. Stating the sodium content instead of the salt content takes the confusion to another level. This is a sneaky barrier to understanding food labeling because, to make sense of the amount of salt in this breakfast cereal, you would have to know that salt is made up of sodium and chlorine. Then you must also know that to convert sodium content to salt content, you must multiply this number by 2.5. According to the Food and Drug Administration, 87% of Americans look at food labels. But how many of them understand how the sodium content of food affects their health? If you know the answer to that question, please write it in the comment section. Let us compare the American label to the label for the same product in Luxembourg. This one is in plain language that lay people can understand. However, 100 grams of this complex contains 1.1 grams of salt. If Vidal ate these for breakfast and nothing else, he would have consumed 73% or three quarters of all the salt that he could take safely in one day. Consuming this fraction in just one meal is not safe for people with high blood pressure or people like Vidal who are at risk of high blood pressure. This is because the likelihood of exceeding the safe daily amount of salt would be higher after adding lunch and dinner. You see, the safe amount of salt in your food per day is 5 grams or 5,000 milligrams. That is if you have no issues with your blood pressure. But if you are at risk of high blood pressure, or if you already have high blood pressure, eating more than one gram and a half of salt per day could prove lethal for you in a few years. Come along, let us see what we can find in the food aisles. This is a popular snack food that also contains too much salt. Check out these cashew nuts. Great to see that the makers offer a salt-free version of the same product. This chocolate has no salt. Most bread have high salt content, and this one is no exception. 
Pickled olives. Hmm. Too much salt. I suppose the name gives it away. To pickle something is to preserve it in salt water or vinegar. This tomato sauce has too much salt. Check out these two packages of scampi. The orange colored one was pre cooked in the factory with added salt. See the ingredients. The added salt makes the salt content too high for vital. But the other one, although it is less of an eye candy, it is safer because it has no added salt. This is okay for Vidal if he eats 100 grams of the shrimps. This milk contains some salt. We are not sure if the salt was added in the factory, but the salt content is very low. This cold meat package contains 3.5 grams of salt per 100 grams of meat. That is too much salt. Ah, we come to the one that we like to call death by salt. Soy sauce has the worst salt content of all the food items featured in this video. Hmm, superfoods. The good thing about fresh fruit and veg is that you do not need food labeling to know that their salt content is safe. If you are on a journey to reduce the amount of salt in your food, to prevent recidivism, which is a fancy word for returning to your bad habit, it is vitally important to replace the old habit with a new one instead of just trying to stop the old habit. For many years now, Vidal has not added salt to his food. Instead, he puts raisins and dried cranberries into almost everything that he cooks. He also uses curry, thyme, lemon juice and other herbs. These herbs contain antibacterial and antioxidant substances and they have the opposite effect on his blood pressure compared to salt. Vidal rarely eats in restaurants. The main reason for this is that it is always a hassle and sometimes impossible to find chefs that will prepare a good meal without added salt. To keep enjoying the pleasure of dining out, be sure that the restaurants that you visit can prepare food based on your instructions and without added salt. Vidal eats scanned mackerels. This is the Achilles heel of his dietary habits. Canned mackerels contain too much salt. Compare these two brands for salt content. Although both of them are marketed as au naturel, the food company added salt to the fish in the factory before canning. So it is not au naturel after all. Fresh mackerels, on the other hand, contains much less salt. So if Vidal wants to keep eating mackerels, he must make a switch to fresh mackerels. We realize that this strict monitoring of the amount of salt in our food is not applicable to everyone. But recent studies show that 24% of people are at risk of hypertension. This means that one in every four persons that you know is likely to develop hypertension if they do not take care of themselves by watching their salt consumption. Thank you for watching this episode of Basic Hill. Watch your salt intake and take care of you.